Hi everybody. I'm so sorry I look so sad today. But I'm so sad about the kitties. That they're coming to kill the cats. I feel so helpless. I I can't think straight knowing that these harmless animals are gonna be killed because of cosmetic reasons. If so many of us feed so many of them, I was trying to get a baby kitten that's in really dire need of fixing to be fixed and Miss Kaz told me that they can't do anything about it. They can't fix her. They can't unless I keep her inside and I already have 11 in my house and I can't keep any more inside and my poor husband. He's allergic but he still tolerates it and takes medication. And we can't keep any more inside. They are both, you know, they're out on the yard in our porch and stuff. But I can't help this little kitten because they want me to add this one more to my house. Otherwise, I'll be in trouble. And if the Humane Society does fix it, I have to keep it inside. I can't release it out in my yard. And if they do, if I do, the the, doc, the veterinary doctor that they have on staff right now that comes to the BRAC or is here in the BRAC will lose their license. This is the evil that's going on that nobody knows. And I think of all the cats that we feed in this island and take care of and try to fix and everything in our government is just so cruel. You know, it's just cruel is what it is. It's just... They have no heart to put legislation in place to kill these animals, these cats. It's just sad. The world really needs to boycott the Cayman Islands. This is evil. This is no different than killing a newborn. When you look at it, this is an, a, a harmless animal, a God's creation, and they're out here killing them. They're coming up this week to start killing the cats. They're starting at the lighthouse up on the bluff, and they're working their way down. And when they when they'll they'll end up in your yard and, and kill your cats, and they'll arrest you, and you can't do anything about it. They'll take them and carry them and euthanize them, and you can't do anything about it. And these are cats that are familiar, and they're around your your yard. They're not killing any iguanas that are ridiculous. They're they're not doing anything about the human consumption of the iguana and the booby eggs. They're saying it's the cat's fault, and it's a lie. Cause for months now I've been checking up there, and there's no such thing of any cats up there killing any of the boobies. So it's all a bunch of cosmetic lies with this Darwin asshole people project. <laughs> I'm a, the world need to boycott the Cayman Islands. That's all I'm saying. Boycott us. We'll starve to death before we'll let the cats starve to death or be killed. We cannot continue on this path. We're going down a path of destruction, killing innocent animals. What is wrong with us? We, this is not the country we are. This is not what our forefathers brought us into, raised us into. We were not raised to be this evil and wicked. And we went and, and, and put Pharaoh and his second in command in charge, a premier and deputy premier. They're like pharaohs and all the other idiots that follow under them and then listens to all of these other idiots. And they're not listening to the real people who care for these cats. They don't listen to us. They don't give a shit about us. But I can tell you one thing. You're going to wish you had listened to us next election.